Howdy folks, Kevin here. Today I am happy to announce that my latest course, Web App Testing with WebDriver IO, is now available for early access. So let's dive into what this course is, how it relates to my previous course, and um, I don't know, just talk about how things are set up and, and where it's headed. Uh, this is the homepage of the course, learn.webdriver.io. And this is a course that is a step-by-step -step guide to understanding web app testing. If you've been following me for any couple years, <laughs> you may know that I had a course on WebDriver IO testing and uh, that I had completed it about two years ago. Uh, unfortunately, it got out of date. And so I had to take it down because the content just wasn't relevant anymore with how out of date it was. So about a year and a half ago, I set to recreating a or updating that course, but I wanted to basically reimagine it. And I'm just going to scroll through here if you don't want to listen to me and you'd rather just read some of this stuff. Um, yeah, reimagine it because I got some really great feedback. The, the content was really good, but it didn't teach how to apply it to day to day testing or your daily testing. And so with that, um, I knew I wanted to stick with WebDriver IO because it is a really great tool. Uh, but I wanted to take a broader approach to testing in general. So what I did was I created the web app testing guidebook. Let's jump to that. And so I started off with this book because I knew it was going to take a long time for me to create this content because I was working on this all in my free time. Um, so I wanted a book because that would be easier to update in theory than a bunch of videos, uh, just because you have to update text alone instead of text and visuals and camera and voice and all that kind of stuff. So I um, made the web app testing guide guidebook, released that late last year. Um, and that's 250 pages. It's well, I've got almost 700 readers now who have um, downloaded the book. And it just covers everything that I wanted to cover in the course, but I wanted to get the book done first. You can check that out on LeanPub if you want. But if you are really interested in all of this, then you will get a copy of the Web App Testing Guidebook if you purchase this course. Um, and so, yeah, that's what I did. I, I made the book and then I started building the course off of the content of the book. So the book and the course kind of go hand in hand. They're very much the same material, um, just in a different format. So kind of a, a companion guide is what I would call it. And you get that when you buy the course. So let's talk about what's in the course. So it, it's WebDriver IO, it's web app testing, um, and it, it applies to websites, web apps, kind of the same idea, but I feel like web apps are um, the more prevalent uh, these days than before. So I really wanted to, to specifically talk about that. And uh, in it, I go over the course introduction. We look at uh, something that I didn't cover in the previous course was just user interface test automation. And so I spent a fair amount of time talking about that, why you'd want to use WebDriver IO, um, why you want to watch this course. So I'm, I'm probably going to make this a free lesson. I haven't done that yet. I need to get that hooked up. But um, anyway, so I talk more in this user interface test automation video about what is UI testing, why you do it, why you wouldn't want to do it, what are the pros, cons of it, that sort of thing. And then I jump into why using WebDriver IO. And then that's kind of the introduction. Next is the second module. So I go over software requirements. Oh, and I talk about technical details as well. Those, These two software and technical details are kind of, um, I don't know, I just have to cover them because uh, they are important to know, <laughs> kind of dry material, so it's hard for me to give them a good description. But uh, you do need to get things set up before you start working on the course. Anyway, next I talk about browsers and how to drive them. Um, that's basically how to use browser drivers and automation. Then we jump into a, an initial example of WebDriver IO and how to use just the most basic version of WebDriver IO. But that's not what you really want to use. You want to use the test runner. So the next section, module three, is about the test runner. And uh, first, we talk about upgrading to the test runner. Next, um, and I haven't produced this video, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. We're going to go over the configuration file, then 
the running the example test runner test and some command line options with the test runner itself. So these videos, as you can see, aren't finished yet, but they are um, in the production pipeline. I've got the outline laid out for, I believe, all three of them. Now I just need to uh, get them recorded, audio recorded for them, video recorded for them. But they'll be coming uh, late June, early July, late July for these three videos. Um, once all that's done, so this is the what I'll call the starter course. I will be adding on to more modules because there's a lot more content in the book than just these 11 lessons. And honestly, these 11 lessons are great for getting you started, but they don't jump into that uh, real technical information that I really wanted to cover with the book. And it's in the book. I just need to get videos of them. So once this is done, I'm going to start working on the next uh, modules. So I've got four through 13. These are all uh, kind of pulled from the book as far as the, the chapters go. And so first we'll just take a, a look at setting up a real world app, uh, either locally for you, or you can just use uh, what I've got available online. Um, next is we talk about basics of site loading and navigation in that app. Then we talk about selectors, how to identify specific elements um, on a page. Uh, so you can use them for entering values, clicking them, things like that. Then we jump into a, a more robust test of the login page. We talk about custom functions, page objects, actions, sharing those, um, how to test more complex inputs, things that you can't just do set value on, um, user sessions and how to manage data, page components, how to share test functionality across multiple uh, pages, and then finally generating data for testing using APIs. So that'll be module 13. Um, all of these are gonna, it's gonna take a while to create all these videos. There's probably four to five videos in each of these modules uh, to, to build out. So uh, it's going to be a little bit of time, but I plan on grabbing, I think the first either four or five modules and bundling these up. So I'm going to finish the first uh, five modules, bundle those up, add those to another package, and then the other five modules, bundle those up later and add them to a package. So it's be kind of a, a serial release. So as far as pricing goes, I've got the starter course at uh, $97 for early access. But actually, for you folks on YouTube, I'm going to add a coupon to my description. It's going to take another $30 off of that. So you can grab it for $67 instead of $97. And yeah, this is going to have those first three modules. Um, I call it the starter course because it basically gets you started. It has the web app testing guidebook with it. Um, it's an hour of videos, like an hour 15, I think. Uh, I'll include all the code samples. Uh, video transcripts. I haven't added those just yet, but uh, I will be adding those. And these videos are DRM free, so you can download them, store them to your computer for whenever you need them in the future. There's no limitations on that. I just ask that you don't share them with too many other people because I um, am. These videos take a lot of effort on my end, and um, selling them or selling them is what helps me make more videos in the future. And then I also do offer that 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't like the content, just say, hey, Kevin, it wasn't what I was looking for. Can I get my money back? And uh, if you do that within 30 days of purchase, I'll give it back to you. No questions asked. I mean, I'm going to ask, hey, is there any way I could have done better? But I'm not going to say, tell me what you uh, tell me what you didn't like before I can give you the refund. No, I'll refund you right away. And I'll ask, hey, if you have any extra time, I'd love to know. But if you don't, no worries. I know everybody's got a ton on their plate these days. Um, I'm also offering a mentorship package. Now, this one is basically the starter course, but with the addition of one hour of one-on-one -on -one mentoring sessions. Now, that can be a single one-hour session, or it can be a 45-minute session and then another 15 minutes later, um, or 15 minutes and then 45 minutes, or 30 minutes and 30 minutes. I just ask that it's not like three or four sessions because they're a little bit hard for me to schedule. I don't. I, I could probably do four sessions if you really like want to do 15 minute time blocks. Um, and then I also offer premium email support. So um, I get a fair amount of emails asking questions uh, and I'm really slow at responding to them. I'm sorry if you sent me in an email and I haven't responded. It's something I'm really bad at and I don't have any real excuses for it. It's just, I have a lot of trouble with it. Um, anyway, so this, if you get the mentorship package, I'll be sure to be very responsive with emails. Um, and kind of prioritize those emails uh, because you're looking for a little bit more help. 
So that's the mentorship package. It's pretty much the same thing as the starter course, just with a little bit more one-on-one -on -one time with me. Um, those are both available. Now, if you see here, it's in early access. I've got eight of those videos that are available right now. So if you purchase this right now, you'll get those first eight videos. And then I'll be adding those remaining three videos by the end of July. I'm hoping to get the first one done by the end of June. Um, I'll probably start working on it tomorrow, actually, um, as far as the full recording goes. Um, and so it, it might be done before the end of June. Uh, I just wanted to temper expectations. Anyway, um, yeah, this is uh, some comments from my previous course. I was really happy to hear such positive uh, feedback from it. Um, got a great rating. So this isn't for this current course. I haven't gotten enough comments back yet because I just released it. But I'll, um, going off the comments from before, I'm, I'm hopeful that it's uh, just as useful for folks. So I got some facts down here, talked about the Futuro modules. Um, when are they going to be ready? Like I mentioned, um, I don't have a specific timeline, but I'm actually hoping to get things uh, wrapped up by the end of the year, primarily so that the content doesn't go out of date before I get it done. Um, I want to get them done as quick as possible so that I get that content out there. And then I will be keeping these up to date a lot better than the last course. Um, the future modules are not going to be part of the starter course. So you're going to have the starter course and then I'll have like a, a second package, like an add on package if you purchase the starter course or a, uh, a package of both the starter course and the second one. There's going to be three different sections, um, kind of how I laid it out, those five other modules. There's 10 remaining modules to do. I'm going to split those up into five each. Uh, anyway, um, if you do purchase the starter course right now, I'll be sure when I get the second package uh, built out to give you a really good discount on the, uh, the, the second package, considering that you already purchased the starter course. So um, that's how that's laid out. Let me know if you have any questions about that. Uh, prerequisites to the course, you probably want to know JavaScript. I'm not going to teach JavaScript in there. I do cover certain JavaScript topics, especially when we get to page objects later on. Um, but you do need to have a, a good understanding of JavaScript. And there's a lot of other courses out there that have already taught JavaScript, so I didn't want to recreate that. They've done a great job with it, so I might as well use what they have. Um, you're also going to be using the command line, uh, and I'll be showing you the examples through the command line, but there's uh, some courses. And I have some links in the course itself uh, with more resources than just this. I'm a front-end dev. Is this course for me? Yes, absolutely. That's one thing that I love about WebDriver.io is that it's geared toward front-end focused people like myself. Um, so definitely. Uh, I am available for in-person or online consulting. Again, you could do that through the mentorship package, or if you're not really interested in that, you can reach out to me on codementor.io. I do one-on-one -on -one mentoring through there. Um, so just click through that link. Again, I mentioned videos DRM free. You access it through thinkific.com, which is a course, which is the course platform I used before. And I really enjoyed it, so I wanted to stick with it. And they have some newer features as well. Um, I do offer a student discount. Just send me an email and let me know that you're a student, and I'll send you a discount code so you can get a further discount. Although I don't know if it's going to be any lower than the extra discount that I'm, I've got in that coupon link below. Uh, but it's worth asking if you want. Oh, look, I have two question marks there. I need to fix that. Um, I've got some information on the shell terminal I use on my personal blog. And then finally, if I don't like the content, again, the no questions asked full refund policy, just something that I think is a really good thing to have um, because you never know. You never know. And if you just you start watching it and you hate the sound of my voice or something or I, I wear funny clothes, uh, I don't think I wear funny clothes. Anyway, if you don't like it for any reason, maybe I make too many lame jokes. Um, you can get your, your money back for uh, up to 30 days after your purchase. And one funny thing about the videos, I don't know if you can notice, let's go up to the first picture. Um, yeah, I started recording this when I started growing my beard out and I haven't stopped growing my beard out. So as you can see in these thumbnails, I, I, my beard gets progressively more and more. And by the time we get to, uh, this video, it's, you know, what it's more like today. So it's just kind of funny to see because it took me so long to record these videos. It, there's a big progression in time. Um, yeah, so that's it. If you have any questions, I've got uh, some contact information on here. Leave a comment down below and uh, check it out. I'm really excited with this course. I put a lot of work into it and I'm going to be continuing to put a lot of work into it. I'm really excited to get this out there and available for early access. 
Um, I'm really hoping to get those three videos done and hopefully you'll see some more content from me uh, in that regard in the future. Anyway, until next time, have fun testing.